Come on, y'all. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> I'm out with you. <laughs> I want to go back to sleep, but I'm out with you. <laughs> God bless y'all. Hey, one day at a time. <laughs> little by little, keep that in mind. Don't worry about getting everything done. Uh, everything ain't going to get done in one day. <laughs> Uh, trying to get everything done, you ain't going to get nothing done. Hmm? It's like waking up in the morning trying to think about the whole day. Hmm? Wake up, clean your room, for, do the little things first. You know what I mean? Keep taking your time. Don't stop taking your time. Hmm? Very important. Very important. Uh, <laughs> uh, you'll be all right. All glory, honor, and praise go to my Father in heaven, Lord Jesus, and the sweet Holy Spirit. I got to give credit, honor, and glory to who is due. Uh, what happened today? And today's Sunday. Yeah, I know today's Sunday. I always feel good on Sunday. Y'all forgive me that cough and messing with me. <laughs> Early in the morning. But anyway, uh, where am I going to go to? It was something I was going to say. Uh, yeah. I'll say that for another day. <laughs> All right, where am I going to go to? Go with me to Psalms. Uh, you know, sometimes you going to be by yourself sometimes. <clears throat> and that's cool. You're going to go through some things sometime, and that's cool. That's going to make you want to complain and cry sometime, and that's cool. <laughs> hey, the Lord always got an ear open for you. People and people might not be around all the time, you see. Um, Mario, you're going to go through some things by yourself. Um, don't let that trouble you. Go to Psalms uh, 142. Psalms 142. Verse 1, it says, a mass skill of David when he was in the cave. <clears throat> David went to, David found himself in the cave one day. He was going through some things. Uh, Psalms 142, verse 1, Brother David said, I cry aloud to the Lord. I lift, my, I lift up my voice to the Lord for mercy. I pour out before him my complaint. Before him, I tell my trouble. When my spirit grows faint within me, any one of y'all ever had your spirit growing faint, faint within y'all? It would mean you basically feel like giving up. <laughs> That's each and every single day, man. Yeah, <laughs> each and every single day. If anybody who live a real life, you go through things, you know. Things ain't pleasant and perfect down here. I'm a very positive person, <laughs> but in the world, you can't have one without the other. Or you got positive, you got negative around too. You know what I'm saying? One would be with the other. Uh, brother, uh... Paul said something similar. He said, uh, I want to do good, but evil right there with him. You see what I'm saying? Like, you always have one with the other somewhere. But, uh, yeah, you can be positive all you want to, but you still can go through some things. You know what I mean? Jesus suffered. Uh, unfortunately, we don't live in a perfect world. You see what I'm saying? But it's all good. Uh, listen. You're gonna go through some things. Don't let that don't let that bring you down. Sometimes your spirit gonna feel faint. My lips chat. I ain't gonna let that bring me down. <laughs> Y'all bear with me. It's early morning. Y'all have a sense of humor. Listen. I can't get right. I just can't get right, boss. It's early in the morning. <clears throat> okay. Did I say that time I think? I think I did. It's Sunday, March 5th, 509, 2023. Uh, it's early. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, listen. Sometimes your spirit going to feel faint within you. You know what I mean? You ain't the only one. Brother David said, it is you who watch over my way. Amen. And the path where I walk, people have hidden a snare for me. You know, not everybody around who you got around uh, doing good for you. And some people who be around trying to bring you down. <laughs> Brother David said, uh, in the path where I walk, people have hidden a snare for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to somebody too. Hey, I, I'm talking to myself too. The Lord let me see things. I know people who be around me not really for me. <laughs> you know? It, it, it's, it's, <laughs> let me keep reading. In the path where I walk, people have hidden a snare for me. Look and see. There is no one in my right hand. Uh, no one is concerned for me. I have no refuge. No one cares for my life, Brother David said. I cry to you, Lord. <laughs> Brother David was by himself. He said, look and see. There is no one in my right hand. Ain't no one around. <laughs> no. Any one of y'all feel like that? I'm telling you. It's been four years, bro. Let me keep reading. 
Uh, no one is concerned for me. I have no refuge. No one cares for my life. I cry to you, Lord. I say, you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Listen to my cry, for I, for I am in desperate need. Rescue me from those who pursue me, for they are too strong for me. Set me free from my prison. David felt like he was in prison on the inside. When y'all ever feel like that, that I may praise your name, then the righteous will gather around me because, because of your goodness to me. Amen. I love that. I love that. <clears throat> David said, uh, he cried out to the Lord. Amen. You know, it's something about having the Lord at your side, man. People might not be there. And that's okay. You see what I'm saying? Psalms 23, verse 1, Brother David said, The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. People might not be around. If I ain't got nothing, but if I got God, I got everything. If I got Jesus, I got everything. You hear me? It is a comfort there. Psalms 27, verse 10, Brother David said, Though my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Amen. It's, uh, I'm telling you. Uh, I like that. Uh, why? Psalms uh, 73. Uh, Verse 26, the brother said, my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is a strength of my heart and my portion forever. Amen. Uh, those who are far from me will perish. You will destroy all who are unfaithful to you. But as for me, it is good to be near God. I have made the sovereign Lord my refuge. Amen. I will tell of all your deeds. I love that. Yeah. Y'all hold on to the Lord. Keep on holding on to him. One thing, one thing I love, I, I love Hebrews 13 too. Uh, Hebrews 13, uh, verse 5 through 6, the brother said, Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have, because God has said, Never will I leave you and never will I forsake you. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we say, so we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can mortal, what can mere mortals do to me? Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. <clears throat> Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Y'all keep on holding on. And know uh, if you ain't got nothing, if you got the Lord, you got everything. You hear him? He going to strengthen your heart. Uh, he is a strength for your heart. You hear him? <laughs> hey, it's been four years. Y'all see me. I get up and do these jumps with y'all. I don't have to get on here and do videos. You see what I'm saying? I love to be able to talk with people. But it's a joy in my heart. <laughs> and these, I've been saved for four years, bro. These four years been the hardest four years of my, of my life. <laughs> this last three months has been the hardest three months of my life. You hear me? <laughs> I'm telling you, I've never been through nothing like this in my life. But <laughs> y'all don't, you can't tell, though. You see what I'm saying? I got a joy. I got a joy in my heart. <laughs> I go through things. My great-grandma downstairs passing away. She's been passing away. I... Since December fourth, I thought my great grandma died. You see what I'm saying? And she been, she's supposed to be in the hospital, but she been here. You see what I'm saying? And I'm not no nurse. Uh, I ain't even got things situated to take care of her the proper way. You see what I'm saying? The people who's supposed to be ain't. You know what I mean? But nevertheless, my great grandma are. That ain't the focus point. You know what I mean? What I'm saying is, there's some things I'm going through that that make you cry. You see what I'm saying? But bless the Lord, though. <laughs> bless the Lord, though. I'm telling uh, you. It's a comfort he'll put over your heart when you're going through things. You can't explain it, but you'll be all right. Uh, that's why I love the Lord so much, man. I can't explain I wouldn't trade it for nothing, bro. <laughs> I, I know what it's like to have money. I had a whole lot of money. Money come and go. <laughs> Friends come and go. <laughs> People you think around, they come and go. Family come and go. They'll let you down, man. <laughs> I love the Lord. It's a bad, it's, it's a joy I can't explain. I wouldn't trade it for nothing, bro. Alcohol don't fix it. Weed don't fix it. I'm telling you, sex don't fix it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. But, <laughs> all right. But anyway, y'all go, go with me. I'm going to take y'all somewhere. Something that's quite amazing to me is Genesis 1. <clears throat> the natural eye can't see it. <laughs> Everything that's done and can be done, God spoke in Genesis 1 and put it all on one page. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Everything according to its kind. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you can pick up the Bible and read Genesis 1 and don't lose your mind, you done read it wrong. <laughs> you, you didn't see it. You missed it. God put everything on one page. Why <laughs> uh, <boy>, he put... <laughs> it's so amazing to me. It's so amazing to me. Cause I'm telling you, a lot of people, they... 
<laughs> you got to read in between the lines. God is a great God. He don't got to, he don't got to explain himself. You know what I mean? All they got to do is speak and things happen. Y'all see all these different type of birds, animals and stuff. When you, when you read the Bible, it's saying, like God said, let there be a, according to their kind. He ain't got to describe this. Now, all he got to do is speak. He know what he's talking about. I got to be, I got to be specific. You see what I'm saying? I, I love this so much. God put it all on one page and one chapter. Everything that could be done, beginning, now, and end. You hear me? We can't understand this. If you can read Genesis 1 and, and don't, and, and, and don't lose your mind, you done read it wrong. You didn't read it right. You hear me? But listen, let me go somewhere before I go there. I just think that's pretty cool. I had to say that. I'm always somewhere to myself. Anyway, I go here and mess with y'all for a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> let's go here. In the book of Genesis, uh, there is a dude named Joseph. Joseph was the son of Jake. Okay. Uh, the Lord used Joseph as a mini representation of Jesus. Uh, Joseph, everything in the Bible points to Jesus. Listen. Joseph was a mini representation of Jesus. Joseph was loved more than his brothers. Jesus Christ is God's most most beloved one one and only son. Joseph had two dreams with the same meaning. I read them to you. I got times early in the morning. I read them to y'all. Bear with me. Listen to Joseph and his dreams. Okay. Joseph was only 17 years old at the time. Genesis 37 verse 1 say, Jacob lived in the land where his father uh, had stayed, in the land of Canaan. This is the account of Jacob's family line. Joseph, a young man of 17, was tending the flocks of his brothers, the sons of Bel, Hiah, and the sons of Zephyr, his father's wives. And he brought their father a bad report about them. Now, Israel loved Joseph. That's Jacob's name, Israel. Now, Israel loved Joseph more than any of his other brothers, his other sons, uh, because he had been born to him in his old age. <clears throat> and he made an ornament, an ornament, an ornate robe for him. When his brothers saw that their father loved him more than any of them, they hated him and could not speak a kind word to him. Joseph had a dream. And when he told it to his brothers, they hated him all the more. He said to them, listen, listen to this dream I had. We were, we were buying sheaves. Uh, of grain out in the field when suddenly my sheep rose and stood upright while your sheaves gathered around mine and bowed down to it. His brother said to him, do you intend to reign over us? Will you actually rule us? And they hated him all the more because, because of his dream and what he said. Then he had another dream and he, and he told it to his brothers. Listen, he said, I had another dream. And this time, the sun and the moon and 11 stars were bowing down to me. The sun and the moon represented his father and his mom. And he and he, he got 11 brothers. And the 11, the 11 stars represented his brothers. He said, uh, he said, this time, the sun and the moon and 11 stars were bowing down to me. When he told his father, when he told his father, as well as his brothers, his father rebuked him. And said, what is this dream you had? <laughs> Jacob thought, Jacob didn't understand. <laughs> because listen, <laughs> Joseph having a dream <laughs> that his brothers and his brothers and the sun and the moon and the stars bowing down to him. <laughs> this is a strange dream. <laughs> uh, Jacob couldn't understand it. <laughs> you know, in a sense, you would think it's some type of blasphemy. You know what I mean? Because because only God is to be worshipped. God was going to use Joseph. When, when you're being used by God, if he allows it, if you can, if if he allows you to stand in his holy place, what that mean, Devontae? When you stand, when you stand in God's holy place, he using you to do something for him, to speak for him, to lead the people for him to do something. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But when you stand in his holy place, uh, <laughs> it's, it's something special. Uh, listen up. But anyway, mm -hmm. Joseph represented Jesus. You see what I'm saying? Because it's not Joseph who the people bowing down to. Mm -hmm. Uh, but in his dream, they, they, they Joseph literally had a dream that the people were bowing down to him. Joseph didn't even understand this all the way. You hear me? But it's his dream. You hear me? When, when he told his father, his father rebuked him because his father think he tripping. Who do you, you know what I mean? Because listen, who you think you is? We're going to bow down to you. He, he didn't understand. God was going to use Joseph the same exact way God used Jesus. You hear me? Listen. Uh, I, I love this. 
uh, his father rebuked him and said, what is this dream uh, you had? Will, will your mother and I and your brothers actually come and bow down to the ground before you? His brothers were jealous of him, but his father kept the matter in mind. <laughs> now, <laughs> uh, listen, <laughs> Joseph had two dreams, both with the same meaning. Both represent people bowing down to Jesus. Genesis 37, uh, one, uh, 7 through 8, uh, it said he going to reign over his brothers <laughs> uh, uh, and rule over them. His mother's brothers, uh, the 11 stars, which represent his brothers, uh, they were all bowing down to him, uh, even Jacob. Jacob rebuked Joseph. <laughs> Jacob didn't understand what Joseph's dream meant, but he kept the matter in mind. Joseph, Joseph was only 17 at the time, a young man. <clears throat> Uh, with a great and strange dream. His, share, his sheaf rose and stood upright while the others, uh, while theirs gathered around his and bowed down to it. The sun, the moon, 11 stars uh, were bowing down uh, to him in, in, uh, in another dream. God was going to use Joseph the same to save his people temporary, temporarily. God used Jesus twice to save us permanently. You hear me? Joseph was sold by Joseph was sold out by his own people. Joseph was made uh, uh Jesus was sold out by his own people. <laughs> Joseph was sold out by his own brothers. Jesus was sold out by his own people. <laughs> Joseph was made the highest in Egypt next to Pharaoh. Jesus was made the highest uh uh hold on, forgive me. Joseph was made the highest in Egypt next to Pharaoh. Joseph was like the ruler of Egypt. Uh, everyone in the world had to come to Egypt to, to buy grain. You see, mm -hmm. Jesus is the ruler of the world now and in the world to come. <clears throat> we don't see this all the way right now, but listen, mm -hmm. God used Joseph to save many lives temporarily. Mm -hmm. Genesis 45, 4 through 13. I can read that. I got time. Genesis 45. Y'all bear with me. It is early in the morning. I like this. Genesis 45, <clears throat> verses 4 through 13. Uh, verse 7, Joseph said, God sent me ahead of you to preserve you, to preserve for you a, rem a remnant on earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. Amen. Uh, Genesis 50. Bear with me. Genesis 50, verse 19, Joseph told his brothers, uh, don't be afraid. Am I in the place of God? You intended to harm me, but God intended but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. Uh, so then, don't be afraid. I will provide for you and your children. And he reassured them and spoke kindly to him. You see? God used Joseph to save them. Okay. God gave me chapstick to keep my lips from being trapped. Okay? Listen. <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> uh, listen. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, <laughs> it's early in the morning. I ain't messing with y'all. God used, God used Joseph to save the people. Okay? All right. God sent Jesus to save many lives permanently. Uh, they all had to come and bow down to Joseph. Well... They all shall they all they all shall bow down to King Jesus one day. Uh, Philippians chapter two, verses five through eleven. If I can get there, y'all bear with me. Philippians chapter two, verse five through eleven. It say, in your relationship, brother Paul said, in your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus who, being in the very nature of God, did not consider equality with God, something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on the cross. Therefore, God is all to him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. Hallelujah. Listen, therefore, God is all to him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Amen. Uh, in heaven and on earth, 
in, in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue shall acknowledge that Jesus, who, listen, it said that at, the, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. I love that. Uh, <clears throat> I got to, Joseph, uh, Joseph name, Joseph name in Egyptian is Yusef or Yasef. It means Jehovah shall add or to increase. Uh, Joseph's dream itself is, was very special. Uh, Joseph temporarily stood in the holy place of God <clears throat> as Psalms 24, 1 through 6 say. God was going to use Joseph. Uh, Psalms 26, verses 1 through 4. If I can get there. My fingers don't want to work. Psalms 26. <clears throat> Hold on. Psalms 24. Psalms 24. Y'all bear with me. Verses 1 through... 1 through 6. Psalms 24, verse 1 say, The earth is the Lord's, the earth is the Lord's, and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. For he founded it on the seas and established it on the waters. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? <laughs> Listen, who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? <laughs> to stand is it to stand to stand in his holy place is to be his representative. <laughs> To stand, in, to stand in his holy place. <laughs> Man, it's amazing. Listen, that's something amazing. If To stand in his holy place. A lot of people don't understand this. <laughs> to be the representative of God. If he allowed you to be that. You hear me? The Lord was, the Lord was going to use Joseph. That's why in his dream, his father rebuked him. Because when his father, when he told, when Joseph told his father the dream, Jacob kind of thinking, what kind of dream you having? No, you're not God. You know what I mean? We're going to come down and worship you? He didn't understand. But God was going to use Joseph to stand in his holy place. When you stand in his holy place, you become the representative person of God. You hear me? To the people, you become to them like God. You hear me? You're not God, but in there, I'm telling you, God, that's how it's going to look. You see what I'm saying? It's something special about that, that dream right there, too, because it also, it also shows a, a part of Genesis 1 how things shall, will be. You hear me? Uh, to come when we rule him with Jesus Christ, you hear me? It temporarily shows how things were with Adam, you hear me? Because Adam stood in the holy place with God one time, you hear me? <laughs> Adam was very special, but let me focus on this real quick because I'm gonna get lost in the sauce. But God was gonna use Joseph, you hear me? <laughs> and the, his dream represented that, you see what I'm saying? Because the dream represented everything bowing down to him. It, it wasn't Joseph that they were bowing down to. Joseph was going to be, Joseph was a representation of Jesus. You see what I'm saying? Was a mini representation of Jesus, okay? God was going to use Joseph to save the people. The same exact way God used Jesus. He sent Jesus to save the people permanently. You hear me? He used Joseph to save the people temporarily. Joseph was temporarily standing in the holy place. He was going to stand in the holy place of God. All right? That's what that dream meant. I love, I love this. That's why his father rebuked him. His father... Thinking he tripping. <laughs> Let's. <laughs> um, I think it's quite cool. We we can't see it right right now, but listen. Joseph temporarily stood in his holy place. Joseph, <clears throat> Joseph's father Jacob rebuked Joseph <laughs> because a dream seems blasphemous. Only God alone is to be worshipped, right? Yes, absolutely. That's probably why his father rebuked him. But listen, God gave Joseph the dream of things around him bowing down. Uh, he ruled over the things around him in the dream. It was as if he was being worshipped. That's probably why his father. Uh, that's probably why his father Jacob rebuked him. Uh, but no, Joseph was not being worshipped. God was showing him in a dream he was going to use Joseph to stand in his holy place temporarily. Psalms 24, verse 3. <laughs> uh, as, as, as Psalms 24, verse 3 say. Even more, uh, it temporarily shows how God created us to be. Let's go back to the first man, Adam. We do not see it right now because it's unclear. But look at the but look, uh, but look, at one time, 
Adam stood in the holiness of God and lived with the Lord God, Jesus Christ. Listen, uh, Adam, Adam was very special. Adam was a type of Christ. Adam was not uh, Jesus, but Adam uh, had abilities that we that we do not have. Mm. Uh, the Bible says that in Romans 5, verse 12 through 24, uh, the Bible says that in Romans 5, verse 12 through 24, Adam was a type of Christ. OK, uh, Adam was special. Uh, there, there, there is something amazing. There is an amazing story in the Quran that's that's not in the Bible. Uh, there's a lot of story. You see, you got to read the Bible in order for the Quran to make sense to you. you hear me? Listen to me. That's why a lot of people can't read the Quran. You hear me? They don't understand the story that's in the, that's in the Quran. You hear me? Where? A lot of people can't read the Bible. People see the Bible and they, they see only what they want to see. You hear me? There's a whole lot of stories that's not being told. You hear me? That, that's, that's too much to write if someone wants to write. You see what I'm saying? But listen, I'm going to give y'all this... Um, Yeah, there is amazing. There is an there is an amazing story in the Quran. It's not in the Bible. It's it's there. We just cannot see it. Uh, I can go here. Yeah, I can read that. Okay, let's go here real quick. Go with me to uh, Hebrews chapter one. All right. Go with me to Hebrews chapter one real quick. Y'all bear with me and rock with me. I'm not organized as one could see. I need to drink my coffee because it's early. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I'm going to do, B. All right, y'all bear with me. I got time. Unless y'all want me to get off, you know? Let me show y'all some. Hebrews chapter one. Uh, Verse, uh, verse five, you want to go there? It says, for to which of the angels did God ever say, you are my son? Today, today, as humans, we are special. Listen, <laughs> it's something special about us. It was something special about Adam. Listen, to which of the angels did God ever say, you are my son? Today, I've become your father, question mark. Or again, I will be his father and he will be my son, question mark. And again, when God brings his firstborn into the world, he says, let all God's angels, let all God's angels worship him. <laughs> listen, 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 listen to this. <laughs> Adam is not the son of God, but Adam, God created, Adam is the first man. <laughs> In the eyesight of God, Adam is God's child. You hear me? Adam, Adam is God's first child, okay, that he created from dust. Adam was the very first man. I consider myself, I consider myself a child of God. Okay? Yeah? And if I'm a child of God, Adam was even more of a child of God. God created, he was the first man. You see what I'm saying? He was, he was, Adam was all Adam was almost perfect. The only thing he, he was not perfect, but in a sense, the way the Lord created him, he was almost perfect. He didn't he, he, he didn't have sin. He didn't think how we think. His mind won't messed up how our minds are messed up. You see what I'm saying? He was God, he, he was special. And he had special abilities that we don't understand. We can't we can't use our mind all the way. You see what I'm saying? Our drugs block. That's why a whole lot of people can't think. You know what I mean? That they kind of slow or whatever. But listen to him. Adam was special. He was a type of Christ. He was not Christ, but he was a type of Christ. <laughs> like he he had Christ-like abilities. All all man, all mankind come from Adam. You hear me? That is special right there. If you believe that. Every single human being comes from Adam. That's amazing. How? <laughs> That's amazing. Listen, if you think about it. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it's true. Listen, we all connected to Adam. We all died. Sin and death was passed on to all of us because of Adam. Each and every single last one of us have to die because of Adam's sin. You hear me? <laughs> we born into sin. His sin becomes our sin because it was passed down to us. You see what I'm saying? And sin been increasing since he since he since he first sinned. You see what I'm saying? But everything, the reason we die and have to die is because Adam ate from that tree. That's why we die. Literally. You hear me? That's literally why we die. Because he ate, he ate from that tree. His sins were passed down to us. We all connected to Adam spiritually. You see what I'm saying? That's amazing. Adam is very special. You hear me? Listen. But check this out. Uh, Hebrews 1 verse 6 
it says, and again, when God brings his firstborn into the world, he says, let all God's angels, let all God's angels worship him. Go over with me to verse uh, 14. It say, are not all angels, men, Hebrews chapter 1 verse 11 say, are not all angels ministering spirits sent to serve those who, who will inherit salvation? All angels <laughs> uh, are servants of God <laughs> that are supposed to be serving us. You hear me? The Lord used angels to serve us. You see what I'm saying? Literally, all angels are servants of God that serve humans. You hear me? The angels were created higher than we are. They're they're they got, they're stronger than we are. They not humans. You hear me? They they got powers that we don't have. They got special powers that we don't have. You see what I'm saying? Uh, but us as humans, we are very special. You want to know why? Because we are made in the image of God. Angels aren't made in the image of God. You hear me? I love this right here. Angels are not made in the image of God. God created the angels very unique. They're very special. But they are not made in the image of God. We humans are made in the image of God. That's very special. <laughs> I told you, you, you can't just read Genesis 1 and not and not lose it. When you read Genesis 1, it don't say nothing about God making the angels or anything, dude. You miss it if you read real fast. It's there. You just can't see it. God spoke everything in Genesis 1. You hear me? I love that. I just had to say that real quick. Because it's so much stuff. God speak. We, you don't see it. Because uh, you got it. You, you miss it. But anyway, listen. All angels are meant to serve humans. Okay? Commanded by God. Well, uh... Let me keep reading. Let me keep going. 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 Okay. Uh, Hebrews 1, verse 14 says, All angels are ministering spirits uh, sent to serve those who will inherit salvation. Okay. Uh, let me back up to... Let me see something. It was something I think I was supposed to do. Bear with me, please. I'm thinking about three different things at one time. Oh yeah, let me read Hebrews two real quick. Read Hebrews chapter two. Uh, Hebrews two, uh, verses five through nine. Hebrews chapter two, verse five say, "It is not to angels that he has subjected the world to come, uh, about which we are speaking." But there is a place where someone has testified, David, what is mankind that you are mindful of them? A son of man that you care for him. You made them a little lower than the angels. You uh, you crowned them with, with glory and honor and put everything under their feet. <laughs> Listen, David said, what is mankind that you are so mindful of them? A son of man that you care for him. You made them a little lower than the angels. You crown them with glory and honor and put everything under their feet. And putting everything under them, and putting everything under them, God left nothing that is not subject to them. Yet at the present, yet at present, we do not see everything subject to them. When you read Genesis 1, if you read Genesis 1, when God said, uh, Genesis 1 26 say, Then God said, Let us make mankind in our image. And our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and over the livestock and the wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. <laughs> you don't see mankind ruling, do you? Nah, mankind being ruled by a whole lot of stuff. You hear me? But man, we're supposed to be ruling. You hear me? As the Lord spoke in the beginning. But you you don't see that right now, do you? <laughs> Adam Adam lived with the Lord at one point in time in the garden. You hear, he experienced this. You hear me? <laughs> that dream Joseph had when he seen the stuff bowing down to him. It wasn't him that they was bowing down to, but it, he was God, God was using Joseph to be in his in his holy in his holy place. You hear me? <laughs> he was ruling as God intended, as he spoke in Genesis one. You see, but it didn't last long. You see what I'm saying? But when you get up to heaven, you when God make everything new again, it's gonna it's gonna be like in Genesis one, as he as he originally had planned. God's plan not throw it off. We just don't see it. Everything how we don't see it and understand. You see what I'm saying? I, I love this so much. You'll get lost. But listen, listen to me, please. I'm gonna give y'all about that. Hour. I like this today's Sunday. I, I give y'all a little bit of time. All right. In Genesis one. 
26, uh, in Genesis 2, uh, Adam named everything. <laughs> uh, that is highly significant. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> a lot of people don't, don't, they read this, but they don't, they don't see this. <laughs> Genesis 2, <laughs> Listen. Genesis 2, verse uh, 5 say, Now no shrub had appeared on earth, and no plant had yet sprung up. For the Lord had not sent rain on the earth, and uh, there was no one to work the ground. <clears throat> but streams came up from the earth and watered the whole surface of the ground. Then the Lord God formed a man uh, from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. Now the Lord God had planted a garden in the east, uh, uh, in Eden, and there he put a man, and there he put the man he formed. The Lord God made all kinds of trees grow out the garden, out the ground, uh, trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food. In the middle of the tree was the tree of life and a tree uh, of knowledge of good and evil. A river water in the garden flowed from Eden, and there it was separated into four headquarters. The name of the first was Pishon. It winds through the entire land of Hevila, where, where there is gold. The gold of that land is good. Uh, aromatic resin, the onyx, are also there. The name of the second river is Jahan. It, went, it winds through the entire land of Cush. The name of the third river is Tigris. It runs along the east side of Asher. And the fourth river is Euphrates. The Lord took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. And the Lord commanded the man, you are free to eat from any of the trees in the garden, but you must not eat. Uh, but you must uh, not eat from the tree of from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat from it, you will certainly die. Listen. The Lord God said, it is not, the Lord God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a help suitable for him. Now, the Lord had formed out of the ground all the wild animals and all the birds in the sky. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them. <laughs> Listen, God brought everything he made and brought them to Adam and, and let him name them. You hear me? The angels couldn't do that. You hear me? <laughs> Adam named everything that, that we can see and think of. Adam named, he named it. I ain't talking about the cell phones, 2023, that people just made up stuff, just wild stuff. Everything in the past that God formed, Adam brought, God brought it all to Adam and let him name it. It's, it's hard to make up a name. You hear me? Have you ever tried to do that? To do that? <laughs> It's an, it's an amazing story in the Quran that's not in the Bible. But it's in the Bible. We just don't see it. <laughs> Adam named everything. It says that in the Bible. That is true. You hear me? The angels could not do that. I'm going to read this for y'all. <clears throat> uh, Adam named everything. That is highly significant. The angels could not uh, do that. Adam was very special. Adam... Adam was with the Lord God, literally standing and walking, standing and walking and talking with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Adam was in a state of, of uh, Adam was in a state of of pureness that we will not be able to attain until we get to heaven. Adam was a type of Christ. Adam was God's child, made uh, from dust, the very first man to breathe. Uh, he was specially made by Christ, Jesus himself, uh, to be a type of Christ. All mankind comes from Adam. That is amazing. We are all connected to Adam in some, in some way, literally. We all come from Adam, each and every single human being. Uh, that's amazing. We all die because of Adam's sin. Uh, sin was passed on to all mankind through Adam. That is incredible. Adam sin, uh, Romans five verse twelve say, just sin into the sin into the world through one man. Uh, where I can read it, y'all. I give y'all hours. So. I got time. Romans five verse twelve. Say, uh, therefore, just as sin into the world through one man, and death came, and death through sin. 
And in this way, death came to all people because all sin. We all sin because we all sin through Adam. We all connected to Adam. You hear me? <laughs> Listen. The same way we got to die because of Adam, the same way we can live through Jesus. Listen, if you, if you understand that, listen to this. Uh, Adam is very special. He is a type of Christ. Adam was God's first human being formed from dust. His first child, uh, one can say. Adam was the first child of God, not the son of God, but the child of God. Amen. God used Joseph to stand in his presence temporary. Uh, Joseph had a dream. His brothers, his brothers, the sun, moon, and 11 stars, his father, mother, that's what the dream, that's what they represented, were bowing down to him, not in worship, but because God was going to use Joseph to stand in his presence to save his family uh, temporarily. Well, Adam, before he sinned, stood, in the, uh, stood with the Lord in the garden. Uh, now, keep this in mind. Boy, <laughs> now keep this in mind. We are humans. <laughs> we live on earth. The angels dwell in heaven and in the heavenly realms with God. With God, The angels are stronger than we are, but God created us, uh, mankind, in his image. Us as humans are... Us as humans are very special. We live on earth, uh, Lord and the angels, yet God our Father... Abba, Allah cares for us. He values us more than, the, more than the angels. We are more special than the angels. We are made in God's own image uh, and their likeness. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The angels are not made in his image. Uh, the angels are angels. They are very special and powerful spiritual creatures, yet they are not made in God's image as we are. Us as humans are very special. Um, and are and are valued more than the angels. Uh, yet, we, yet we were made Lord. All angels are servants of God. That God, all, that God Almighty commanded us to serve. Well, there was one angel who did not want to serve the Lord. Uh, I think we all know who I'm talking about. Uh, instead, he tricked he, he tricked man, uh, in particular. Then he then uh, then God cursed him. But before he was cursed for deceiving Eve. He was supposed to serve God by serving Adam. Instead, he tricked Eve and gave Adam, and she gave Adam some of the forbidden fruit uh, from the tree of knowledge and of good and evil. Uh, he was not supposed to do that. He was supposed to be serving God, yet he disobeyed God. I'm speaking about Lucifer. But listen, God used Adam one time to stand in his holy place. In the Quran, uh, it, it, it says a nice story in the Quran, uh, 29, verses 29 through 47, <laughs> that God brought all the angels, uh, that one day God told all the angels that he know everything. <laughs> and uh, just, to, just to prove to the angels, <laughs> he told them to name everything. <laughs> they couldn't name, you <laughs> know what I mean? And then that's when the Lord brought Adam forth and, and said, name everything. You know, he let him name everything. And then he told the, then he told the angels to bow down and worship Adam. Where not worship Adam, but because Adam was standing in God's holy presence. Yeah, I'm telling you. Where all the angels bowed down except for one. I believe that it's an amazing story. I'm telling you, this because this was on Earth. Yeah, uh, where I'm telling you, it's an amazing story. My Lord, that it's, it's not in the Bible, but I can see that, and it, and it, it lines up. And the Holy Spirit tell me that's true too. Yeah, I love that. John, why? It's, it's great. It's amazing. But it's an, I, I want to read it, but I'm going to spend another 30 minutes if I do. But it's an amazing story in the Quran. In the Quran, chapter 2, uh, verses 29 through 47, it, it explains what I just now read. Like, where? <laughs> so you can go read that now. If you if anybody listens to them, you can go read it now. Because it ain't going to make sense to you if you don't read the Bible and don't understand what I just now said. <laughs> you hear me? That's why they don't understand. A lot of my brothers don't understand that who read the Quran. You hear me? <laughs> they get lost in the sauce. But uh, that John Trude, and uh, where it, line, it lines up with this perfectly, like where it, you see, <laughs> where, and then uh, we all know the story after that. Adam made from the tree, all hell broke loose. <laughs> but God had a plan. He had a he had a glorious plan. He had a glorious plan. He had a glorious plan from the beginning to send Jesus Christ. Where, 
I'm telling you. And I spent all day trying to talk about that. <laughs> I take the little bit the Lord gives me. That's just something that I, I had. I like. I like. Uh, Joseph and his dreams. People don't. Uh, when Jacob. His father rebuked him because his dad ain't know what that dream meant. His dad thought his, his, he was being worshipped. His Joseph was being worshipped. Nah, God God gave Joseph the dream. It, it, don't, it won't like Joseph just came up with it on his own and said, y'all going to bow down and worship him. Nah, God the one gave him the dream. <laughs> See, he, he didn't even know what it meant. <laughs> I love that, man. You know, some people, I was talking to somebody yesterday. <laughs> and uh, people think he's crazy. <laughs> Until until the Lord opened the eyes up or whatever. <laughs> but I, I love that. I love that. I, I love that story in the Holy Quran because that junk amazing and it's true. It's a lot of things. I told you. They go together. Don't no book replace the Bible. You hear me? But if any truth in it, uh if any if it is the it is the word of God. You see what I'm saying? It points to the Bible. Like where <laughs> it's like if I'm talking anything, it, it'll point to it. But anyway, I'm about to get off here, y'all. <laughs> Today's Sunday, y'all keep on taking y'all's time. I know it's going to be little by little. Keep on asking for the Holy Spirit. He's going to give it to you. The Holy Spirit leading the Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus is going to lead us to be home with our Father and having to get up out this place. You dig? One of these days, man. Hey, one of these days. And don't let people, don't worry about another thing. You're going to go through this. People are going to say this and say that about you. I love, I love that movie, The Karate Kid, with Mr. Miyagi said. Mr. Miyagi wasn't afraid and that then them dudes was messing with him. They said, Miyagi, you the coward or something. You know what I mean? Uh, he ain't paying people no mind. Daniel said, You ain't worried about them people talking about you. <laughs> Mr. Miyagi said, Daniel son, a lie, only true if you believe it. <laughs> you hear me? People could say <laughs> they could say something crazy about you, you know what I mean? And like where so don't pay attention to everything you hear. You know what I mean? <laughs> where? Where? Alright. I just had to say that. So, have a sense of humor. <laughs> All right. I love y'all, man. Y'all keep on praying for me. I keep on praying for y'all. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. And keep on taking y'all time. All right. I'll see y'all, man. <laughs>